All right, guys, you never know what you might find at Lowe's, uh, especially checking outside of your zone or on the edge of your zone. So check this out. So that's right, honeyberries here in upstate of South Carolina. Again, it's right on the edge of where they would grow well, but we're gonna try them out in a dappled shade type situation and definitely go out and check what these things cost when you order them online. It's absolutely nuts. I actually found a sweet deal here at the box store and it's not on clearance, imagine that. Dean Family Acres. You see my head? cut off or you can no, because the red thing is all right guys so we're gonna make an addition over here near our pawpaw trees if you have not watched that video i'd encourage you to check it out right up here um, but we're gonna be adding some honeyberries now we're in 8a which is kind of on the edge of where honeyberries can actually survive and make it and in order for them to you need to plant them in some part shade so that's what we're looking to do and we've got a um, mr and mrs the mr is berry blue and the missus, which is the female, it says is uh, Borealis. These pollinate each other, and we're going to give them a try. I actually found these at the big box store. We've been trying to recap a few things when we go to the big box store. And uh, this was one of the deals we found. I actually had a little bit of a broken limb, so we got a discount on it. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing how these do and if they'll make it here in 8A. Follow along. Cut it off, it's just, it's too floppy. All right guys, so we got the holes dug. Uh, remember this soil is pretty loamy, I would say on this side. Uh, a lot of our place is nothing but clay, but back here where the pine trees are, um, it, it, it definitely um, has benefited from just trees and, and cultivation for probably the last 15 years or so from my understanding is when they stopped bush hogging this area. So um, what we're going to do is just amend the soil a little bit with some mushroom compost and some uh, black cow. I'm going to leave out my pine bark soil conditioner this time. Uh, I think that we'll be all right just in regards to drainage and I want to make sure that I don't um, affect the pH too much although it really doesn't impact it a lot. So. Um, we're gonna get this uh, amended a little bit and then we'll go on to um, the next one. All right guys, so we're gonna put uh, Mrs. Honeyberry on this side, which will be the, um, I guess, a little bit further away from the house, just past the pawpaw. Um, again, this is the Borealis variety. Um, these pots are really, really cool too. Once I get this out, I wanna show it to you because I think it's really neat um, how this is made. All right guys, so the way this pot's made, it's got a lot of drainage holes here in the bottom. And this actually clips over the top and lets it grow and can kind of hold everything together so it doesn't come out. Um, I thought it did a really, really good job. It did make it hard to water. So I would think that if you see these in a big box store and it hadn't been watered in a while, you might want to pay attention because I doubt they're doing any bottom watering. And um, what I did when I got these home, because they were about half this size, is I actually uh, kind of lifted one part of the lid and ended up kind of just sticking it where it was like this so I could actually put some water directly down into this pot.
Again, this is the Mr. Honey, Honey Berry. This is the Berry Blue. Uh, so we're gonna put this on the side, kind of in between the pawpaws here. And again, if you're an 8A, uh, you probably wanna put these in some partial shade. They look a lot like blueberries, but they're not like blueberries in regards to their weather conditions. These can handle like 45 below. You can see, I had them in the sun. They had some great growth because we had some mild weather, but I had them in the sun and look at that. Uh, they're kind of getting burned. So just be aware, pay attention to what you're doing and you should be all right. and break that one off. It's been hanging on there, but there's no need to leave it. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video about honeyberries and us trying to grow them here in 8A Upstate South Carolina. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. When you do subscribe, don't forget you need to ring that bell like. That's right, Mike Tyson did in the 1980s. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing y'all next week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget down here to the right is gonna be our fruit videos from our farm. And then over here to the left is going to be the latest upload. Thanks so much, really appreciate you guys watching.